Hey, what's up ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Dan the Man, and welcome back to another update video here on my channel. So you guys, I'm back, and I'm in my normal voice this time. Although this is going to be a little different because I'm doing another one of these update talk videos with a gameplay in the background with music and me talking all that, and yeah. Don't worry guys, my profile is going to go away right now. I just wanted to show you all that it's me, and you guys can focus on this luxurious screen of Security Breach while I'm, you know, just talking to you guys, because apparently when it comes to videos like these, people like to hear it unless that does work or doesn't work, but it, it's, I'm not trying to look for attention or anything. I just want to talk about a few things here and there. So first off, um, how are you guys doing today? I'm not doing too bad myself. Just excited because, well, obviously, uh, obviously the b background of Security Breach is just me trying to give a little hint to something. Like, I'm, I'm sure a lot of you know what it is, but for those of you that don't, I want to spill the beans and just say what it is. The DLC for Security Breach Ruin has has officially been released, and everyone's been playing it. I mean, to be honest, it was released uh, just a couple days ago, like it was released on on the 25th, like on Tuesday. And I was excited for it too, like everyone else was. Like as soon as I, you know, stayed up until midnight to see the Steel releasing the DLC for the game. Bam, it happened. Everyone's been playing it. You know, Daco, Fusion Z Gamer, 8 Bit Ryan, Razb Razboski, Dan TDM, Markiplier, and everyone else too that I would like to list down, but I'm not sure if I have the time for it because I don't know how long I want to make this video. Probably like 10 minutes or so of me talking about a few things, but yeah. So the first thing I want to talk about is Ruin. So yeah. I don't have the game, but I did get a chance to see like a whole entire Let's Play of it because why not? And honestly, I think the DLC is great. Like, I'm not going to spoil it for those that haven't seen the DLC yet. Like, if you guys have Security Breach, then make sure to, you know, play the DLC because Ruin is honestly pretty good. But if you don't can't afford to get the game, not calling you poor or anything, just to be clear. But if you're not able to get the game, then hey, why not find a no commentary? playthrough video of it. That always works since, you know, it's best to watch those while grabbing some popcorn and all that. <laughs> That's what I do. Or pizza, if you're like Chica. But anyway, aside from that, uh, yeah. So I watched through the entire gameplay of Security Breach Ruin, and honestly, the DLC is great. I think this, the game itself, like DLC, definitely deserves its attention, and this is how it works. Like, I think Steel Wool has definitely redeemed themselves because of Security Breach and all that. Like, you guys remember what happened a couple years ago, Security Breach was released on the 16th, I believe? It was released last year, back in 2021, like in the ending of, De like in December, and people have made some claims about it, like, it wasn't the best FNAF game, but it was honestly a pretty good one too, like it was decent, like, I mean, it was. I mean, sure, it might not be as great as all the other past FNAF games, but Security Breach was definitely interesting in my opinion. Like, the I thought the game was awesome, and yeah, it became like a really cool thing. Like, people have made a lot of SFM animations out of it, comic dubs, animation videos, and voices too. Like, Security Breach was the thing for the whole FNAF community, and honestly, it was great. You know. And again, I'm not calling Security Breach, uh, like, I, it's, it's fine if you guys do or do not like Security Breach, like I do. I'm not saying I love it, but I, I, I like it, you know, like, Security Breach is pretty good. I mean, it could have been better, but it's still honestly pretty good in my opinion. But the fact that Steel Wool decided to make a, f a, a free DLC for the game and how it would tie into it or something like that is honestly pretty cool because... Like I said, this DLC, the DLC for Security Breach Ruin is awesome, and I like it. I hope everyone else does too, because the fact that it is free and all that is awesome, and yeah, this is definitely the redemption that Steel Studios deserves, so well done to you guys, and I bet Scott will be proud of you guys, you know? But yeah, if you guys haven't played the DLC of Security Breach Ruin, go ahead, it, it's, it's free to play. If you have Security Breach, of course. If not, and you just want to see a full video of it, then, hey, that's also a good thing too, you know? So yeah, that's my own opinion of me talking about Security Breach, because why not? 
And, uh, yeah. Uh, what else do I want to talk about? Oh yeah, I also want to talk about a few other things too, because... Well, not only did I wanted to make this video of me discussing about, you know, me talking about my thoughts and opinions on Security Breach Ruin, but also some upcoming projects as well. One that I don't think I want to work on anymore, but other, but these other two that I have in mind that I feel like de deserve some, you know, somewhat attention. Not really attention, but some I feel like creating and want to show to the people of what kind of stuff I come up with in my mind and how to create them. So... Yeah, I don't know if I will make some Security Breach videos, but I want to say it like this. If you guys want me to make some Security Breach comic dubs or fan-made FNAF videos, like me going as a Security Breach character or any FNAF character, then feel free to hit the like button and hit the subscribe button too. I might say it at the end of the video, but mostly follow me on my social media is because I, because I somehow got like a lot of views and a few likes on a tweet from Twitter. <laughs> nice. But yeah, uh... And also, and also feel free to help the other character channels that I reacted to, like me as Bowser, Wario, and Waluigi. Feel free to leave a like on those videos because those are fun to make and to do. And yeah. Anyways, out of the way, let's get on with the real do here. I, I might make some FNAF content on here, like me making a comic dub or so, or just fan made videos and such. But we'll, we'll see. Like, it depends on what people, what other people think. Like, like if you leave a like on this video, like, if this video gets to 5 or 10 likes, I will make a video of me playing as Glamrock Freddy, or Gregory, or someone else, I don't know, I just thought I'd say. But anyways, so, <clears throat> yeah, FNAF aside, I do want to talk about some things real quick. Because, I want to take this. So, first off, I want to talk about Special Strike Obstruction. Uh, I I know it's been like, I know a lot of, I know a lot of people aren't going to talk about it, which is great, but if a little bit... Do ask about it or something please don't because this project's old and it hasn't gone much in production and to be honest I don't think I want to work on it anymore because well reasons I'm not sure if I want to say but it's just I feel like you know nothing good had come up out of this and I'd rather work on something else that would be more fun and interesting besides this you know so yeah I'm not sure if I want to anymore so sorry so sorry, not sorry, but I don't know. Anyway, aside from that, I want to get on with the real deal here. So one, so one FNAF thing I am thinking of working on, like one FNAF project in mind I do have in mind of what I want to work on is something related to FNAF and Mario. And yes, I do mean Mario, the Red Plumber himself, which I will talk about in a second. So because of the, because of the release of the... Actually, let me rephrase what I was trying to say. So, ever since the Super Mario Bros. movie came out, and this, and the DLC for Security Breach Ruin, yeah, the DLC for Security Breach Ruin, I thought it'd be cool to make something else out of it, too. Actually, besides those ones releasing, I'm thinking of this one, too. Since we have the upcoming Final Freddy's movie, and the new Mario game, Super Mario Bros. Wonder, I feel like both franchises deserve to have some kind of cool and fun thing together like f every mario fan and fnaf fan have been getting a lot of good stuff this year like we're getting a bunch of trailers for a few things upcoming mario games too fnaf movies and games and yeah so in celebration of the super mario bros movie security breach ruin and the upcoming other stuff like the finance freddy's movie and the new the new mario game super mario bros wonder I thought I'd make this video to discuss about an upcoming project that I'm thinking of doing and planning as a crossover. Like, I'm thinking of doing a a crossover project, franchise kind of video of Mario and FNAF. And I know what you're all thinking. How and why and what it's going to be based off of, or something like that. Well, I am going to do a lot of editing in this, so I might as well do some edits and talk about it too. I don't know when this will be released, but I might as well say it, so, you know, why not? And this might be familiar to those, what I'm about to say in a second, but here's what I mean. You guys remember that old fan-made Mario game, Mario and Animatronic Horror? That was made by, you know, the Huzzah Master himself? Well, that's what I'm thinking of. Introducing... Mario and Animatronic Horror! Or, yeah, that project. So, if you guys remember, many years ago, 
this was like a fan-made project made by Cory, aka the Zom Master himself, as I said. And it was a fan-made Mario fan Mario game based off of Mario the Music Box. Like, honestly, when I first saw and discovered it, I definitely did enjoy it. Like, both the original Mario and Animatronic Horror and the second one, Nightmare Begins, they were really fun and awesome to play. I mean, I guess we could all agree that the Music Box was is definitely number one. But, come on, you gotta admit, Mario in, in FNAF is honestly pretty cool too because... I mean, let's face it, Mario fans and FNAF fans are getting some good stuff this year. Like, 2023 is the year of Mario and FNAF. And since it is, I thought, hey, why not I do something about it? Like, oh, this is what I want to do. Like, I know Mario and Animatronic Horror and all that is, like, basically old school, like, cancel stuff and all that. But I kind of thought to myself, you know, what would happen if I did my own take of Mario and Animatronic Horror? Not the original game, but like the second one, Nightmare Begins, because I thought, hey, maybe it'd be cool if someone else could do, could kind of, not officially, but like kind of take over the the fran the crossover franchise with Mario, Freddy, and FNAF and all that, and make something out of it. So that that is my idea. Like I'm thinking of doing a my own take of Mario and Animatronic Horror, The Nightmare Begins, from or original idea plan stuff and all that from the Zom Master himself. I thought it'd be a pretty cool idea to bring back Mar to bring back the good old days of gaming and crossovers and all that. Like Mario Animatronic Horror was definitely a pretty cool franchise to me in my opinion. But at the same time, it was noticed by Nintendo and Cory had to take it all down, which I understand that. But yeah. Anyway, aside from that, I want to get on with this project about it. So that's the first thing I want to talk about. The first project I want to talk about is me doing my own take of Mario and Animatronic Horror. And yeah, that too. Inspired and obviously based off of the off of the one that the Zom Master made before. And I'm not trying to like steal, take, borrow, or just claim it all myself or anything. Like I'm not gonna do any of that. I just wanted to borrow this idea of me doing this, like uh, yeah, you know, but to be fair, if you guys are wondering, I'm not going to make like a, this isn't going to be a fan-made game or anything or SFM kind of animation because for one, I don't know how to make games and two, I don't know how to animate because even if I did learn how to use SFM or Blender, I probably would have, you know, just made that, but it probably would have been like a lot of weird motivation kind of thing. And also at the same time, I probably would have gotten that thing, a message from Nintendo about it too. So yeah, if Cory got that one from Nintendo, then maybe I'm not either. Yeah, I shouldn't. And I know you are wondering if, if, if it's going to be none of those, what's going to be about? Well, I'm kind of thinking of doing a audio drama version of it. Not like a bad drama, but like a, a fan made I guess, role-playing kind of drama? I'm not sure, but it's supposed to be like an audio drama. Like, have you guys ever seen those audio drama videos on YouTube where it's just like, I think either stop motion or just a background picture or something, both like voices and all that in it, like those? I'm thinking of doing something like that. I'm thinking of doing my, a audio drama pro, a audio, my own project of Mario, like my own version, my own take of Mario Animatronic Horror as an audio drama edition. Yeah, that's gonna be it. So yeah, guys, that's gonna be the first project that I'm thinking and hoping of making. An audio drama saga of Mario and Animatronic Horror, The Nightmare Begins. And the reason why I'm choosing that is because the original game had like its full start and ending to it as it is. And Nightmare Begins didn't really have much of a happy ending. Like as soon as cha like I, like I said, as soon as Chapter Three was released all those years ago, and Chapter Four was being in development for in de in production or whatever, from what I've heard, Corey got that message from Nintendo, and bam, that's how it all got canceled and stuff. And I felt kind of bad for him, like I felt bad for Corey, and I thought, well, what would happen if I did my own take on it? So yeah, that's pretty much what I'm gonna do. So that's one thing I'm hoping to work on, like. It may not be Special Strike, but it will be Mario and FNAF, so yeah. Mario and Five Nights at Freddy's crossover into Mario and Animatronic Horror. I'm definitely excited to make this audio drama 
horror se saga series, depending on how it will go and all that. And yeah, I'm hoping to get some voice actors and all that. And I'm thinking of doing like this, not just like an audio drama, but like have some background pictures as well. Kind of like a stop motion kind of video. So it'll be like a, like a stop motion audio drama kind of theme. That's what I'm hoping to make this project turn it out to. I don't know how it'll work or how it'll go, but I definitely want to try to make something out of it like that. And yeah. But before I do get into like full production of like me making a long either part by part chapter or a full length audio drama movie of Mario and Animatronic Horror Nightmare Begins, I would have to ask Haza Master, aka Cory, about that first because obviously I don't want to like. I don't want to like ha have the idea of me making it look like I stole that idea from him and claim it myself. Like, again, I'm not trying to do that or want to do that. I'm just borrowing the idea and doing my own take on it. I have no rights of the uh, of the crossover franchise. All rights go to Nintendo for owning Mario, Scott Cawthon and Sewell for owning Finance of Freddy's, and to Azam Master for making the creation of Mario and Animatronic Horror. I do not own anything. Just wanted to say that. So yeah, I'm hoping to ask Cory or, Haz or Hazam Master if I could, which I don't know how that's possible because I don't have him on Discord anymore, but I guess I could try to ask him or if he somehow sees this. What do you guys think of the, the idea of me doing my own take of Mario and Animatronic Horror The Nightmare Begins? I think making an audio drama stop motion kind of pro pro project, like animation kind of thing for it would be, would be a great idea, you know? Not like animation, but you get what I'm saying. So yeah, that's the first thing I'm planning on making because of how Mario and FNAF have been getting some great stuff this year. I thought maybe I could do my own take of that, like celebrate both franchises and to, you know, do that. So yeah. So stay tuned for any updates I will say about me talking about Mario and Animatronic Horror because obviously I gotta talk to Hazam Master about it and see what he thinks. So yeah. And to Corey, aka the Hazam Master, if you're somehow watching this, which I don't know if you are or not, but if you're somehow able to hear my voice, made it to this video right now, I will need to ask you this million dollar question. Is it alright if I do my own take of Mario and Animatronic Horror The Nightmare Begins? Like, I know it was... I know you're not like a big fan of it anymore, unless you somehow still hold a place in your heart like everyone else too. But, I, but I'm kind of curious and hoping to do my own take of it. Like, it would be kind of cool to make like... to bring back Mario and Animatronic Horror, but make it different. Like, do like an audio drama stop motion picture... Pro project kind of thing. So yeah, I don't know if I should ask him on Twitter or YouTube, but Corey, if you're watching this, would it be alright if I do that, please? I mean, I thought it was easy to please, I don't know. But yeah, guys, um, I guess until I figure hear from Corey or figure out what happens next, I'll leave it at that. And they all know that that's the first thing I'm going to be working on. Mario and Animatronic Horror, The Nightmare Begins, the audio, the audio drama stop motion picture project kind of movie. I don't know if it will be like in chapters, like how it was in the game, or like a full like movie of it, but I think in chapters might be better, so yeah. I'll just have to talk to Corey about it, and who knows, maybe I could get him on board with it and a few other people. I'm not percent sure, like, I'm kind of curious about anything about it, but hey, it would be awesome to make like a collaboration with him. Like, that honestly be cool, you know? It definitely would. And yeah, that's the first project of mine that I've talked about for you guys, Mario Animatronic Horror in celebration of this year for the year of Mario and the year of FNAF because of the Super Mario Bros movie and the DLC for Security Breach Ruin. So stay tuned for any news and updates on, you know, Mario and Animatronic Horror, the audio drama series from me, Dan the Man. And yeah, I'll keep you guys updated on that and I'll see you guys in the next one. Let's hope Mario is ready for a Freddy. <laughs> Get it? Yeah. And the second thing I want to talk about is a second project of mine. So besides Mario and FNAF combined together, I'm thinking of doing a different kind of project, but a whole entirely different, like a separate kind of thing away from like Mario and FNAF and all that. And there's been like some things about it too. Um, so this was a, like a couple days ago and I was hoping to make a video before or after about it, but obviously no one really did talk about it and all that unless they somehow did. But I feel like mentioned about it too. Uh, sorry if this video is long, by the way. It's just I feel like, you know, 
letting you guys hear my voice and talk about some awesome things and all that too. And yeah. Anyways, aside from that, I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna see. So you guys remember the old Thomas and Friends movie, Thomas and the Magic Railroad? That one. Well, today marks the the 22 or 23 years. I think it's either. I think 23 years. Yeah. Today marks 23 years of the movie itself. And yeah, happy anniversary to Thomas and the Magic Railroad, or Tamar for short. I know I'm kind of late to do this because the anniversary was a couple days ago, but hey, as Junior says, better late, th better late than never, or better late than never. I can't even do this Junior voice, but you get what I'm saying. So in celebration of the 23rd anniversary of Thomas the Magic Railroad, like celebrating 23 years of magic and all that too, I decided to do my own take, like make my very own Thomas and the Magic Railroad fan made movie. I don't know what I did there, but you know. That's right, guys. I plan on making my own fan-made Thomas and Magic Railroad movie by my own hands and all that too, where I'm going to call it Thomas and the Magical Railroad. It's going to be different. It's going to be epic. And it's going to be awesome fun to make. I wouldn't, Well, I wouldn't exactly call it epic, but I'm thinking of doing that. So yeah, guys, I'm going to do... Uh, basically, I'm going to do my own take of... Thomas and the Magic Railroad, and combine it into a few other things too. Like, make, do my own take of it is what I'm trying to say. Because we've had some pretty cool, like, fan-made, like, Thomas and the Magic Railroad movies and films and all that in the past. I could list them all here too if I wanted to, like, five in particular. The first one we had was the Magic Railroad parody, the Magic Railroad rewrites, the Blue Track Stack Magic Railroad, the, uh, oh yeah, the, the read, the redub, the Magic Railroad redub, and of course, the, the Thomas comedies and the Magic Railroad, like, funny saga theme. Yeah, if you guys remember those ones, then you'll know what I'm talking about. Those were the fan-made movies that, and films and all that, parts and everything that I saw over these past few years and all that, like, all those, like, all those films and parts and all, like, all those films and all that made by these incredible, you know, incredible creators and talented people have done a fantastic job with it. Like, you know, you got Mr. Conductor Fan, I, Mr. Conductor Fan, Mr. Conductor Fan, iOS Studios, Bad Rider Alumni, uh, you got Blue Track Stack, Major Engine Studios, and, and Mullen Studios, I think if I remember that right. Yeah, I do. So yeah, since uh, since those since those creators made like a total made their own versions of the Magic Road and all that, I thought, hey, why not I do that too? I mean, mostly because there is also that upcoming sequel to the first rewrite Magic Road movie. I think it's called Thomas and the Magic Road Return Thomas and Thomas and the Return to the Magic Road or something like that. I'm not sure, but I do know that. Uh, uh, but I do know that iOS Studios and Bad Rider Alumni are working on making a sequel to this. And I did kind of mention this. I'm sure you did too. I don't, I don't want to like say spoilers or anything. So please avoid spoilers if so. But yeah. If you guys are wondering, I'm going to be in the sequel as Burnett Stone Jr. I did mention this before in the past. And someone I do know, I'm not going to say who. But someone's been kind of not really bugging me. But overhyped about it. Because they get to voice a main character in it. Which honestly a big honor so to Andy and Chuck, if you're watching this, thank you guys so much for allowing me to be a part of it. I'm honestly excited to see how the movie will look. And yeah, uh, basically, uh, but anyways, back to what I was saying about my own take of it. So basically uh, my own fan made version of Thomas the Magic Railroad or Thomas the Magical Railroad as I'm gonna call it, it's gonna be different, but kind of similar. The reason why I'm thinking of making this is because, well, since, if there were five versions of of the mo of the original movie, why not make there a sixth one? Like that's what I'm thinking of doing, or seventh because of that upcoming one, like I said, or is it eighth because of how Mr. Conductor said he, like Mr. Conductor said he, fan said he was going to make one out of it, another one. I'm not sure, but I'll figure it out later if I get a chance to. But yeah, um, 
basically my idea for thomas the magical railroad is i want to do like my own take of it but at the same time i'm kind of curious to make a like combination of all of the five magic railroad fan made movies you know like the the magic Railroad parody the rewrite the redub the thomas comedies and the blue track zach one like all those ones by all the creators that i mentioned before i'm thinking of doing like some kind of combination of all of those ones together for Thomas the Magical Railroad, like my own family version of Tatmar, but different. In in short term, I'm gonna do a combination of all of those fan-made Tatmar movies, but mostly my own version of it too. And this won't be like an, any kind of animation form, because I don't have Train Simulator, and I don't have any Thomas toys to make like those animated faces or something like that. So of course, this is gonna be a audio drama kind of movie. And I'm honestly excited to make it because I have an idea for how I want this to go. And yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do everyone. I'm gonna make another audio drama movie project kind of thing. But this time it'll be like my own fan-made version of Thomas and Magic Railroad, which will be of course, Thomas and the Magical Railroad. I'm honestly excited to make it because I'm going to make it into another audio drama slash stop motion picture kind of movie. And I'm honestly excited about it. Like, since I can't like really animate or do anything about it like that, I might ask for some help on it. I'm not sure. Like, I definitely want to do all the work myself, but I mostly would like to have a few people on board. And what, what I'm going to do to make this different is I'm thinking of gathering every... Thomas and Friends creator from across the platform to join me in on this. Like, I'm hoping to ask those that I do know of to see if they'd like to be part of this. Like, I don't know if I'm going to show up their profiles here and list them all, but I kind of want to say their names at the same time. I'm hoping to get people I do know of, like, uh, like who? Oh, yeah. Like, like Enterprise and Engine 93, Liz Productions, Bad Rider Alumni, iOS Studios, Mystery of the Hedgehog, of uh, Rosie the Cutie 1995, Brendan Productions, Tram Engine Studios, of uh, Annie C, probably Driver 3, Driver 3 Joe, of, uh, oh yeah, I Love Trains D23, Epic Lafitte 2, Epic Lafitte 2, Mainland Studios, and a bunch of other creators I would like, I'm actually majoring in studios, and a bunch of other people that I would like to list down, but I'm not sure if I want to because I've already made this long explanation video 30 minutes as it is, or around 30 minutes, and I don't want to. But yeah, I'm hoping to get every, some almost, but every Thomas and Friends creator on the platform that I do know of to see if they would like to be part of this, like for one character each see if they would like to be part of it. I'm really hoping to because if I somehow do convince or get all of them to join me on this, that'd be awesome and an epic honor because making a project like this with a bunch of other people that I do know of and like coming as one together, that would honestly be really cool. But yeah, I'm hoping to ask, you know, maybe iOS Studios, aka Chuck, and Bad Rider Alumni, aka Andy, to help me out with this if they can somehow. If I somehow get all the Thomas and Friends you YouTubers and creators to join me in on this fan-made Thomas, Tho Thomas the Magic Railroad project with me, that would be an absolute honor because having all of them voice these characters I do have in mind and think would fit them well would honestly be really cool too. Like, I have an idea of how I want the story to go 100%, but it depends if I do get all the people I do know of for the, you know, like, voice actors to go as these characters. Even, like, sort of new ones. Not really new, but, like, those other characters you do know of. And, yeah, do my own take of it. So, yeah. Thomas and the Magical Railroad. With, made by me, Dan the Man. An audio drama stop motion picture video of the original movie itself. Based off of all the Thomas the Magical Railroad fan made movies all five of them that I mentioned in this video by these creators that I also mentioned, either showing their profiles or not. I, this video I'm gonna make is definitely gonna be a long time to make this. I'm probably gonna have to upload this whenever I want to, 
But, hey, at least I get to take my time to edit this, so, you know. So yeah, guys, that's it. That is my talk of these two upcoming projects I have in mind that I'm hoping to make and do. And yeah. Mario, so yeah. Again, I'm going to list them one more time to say what the name of the projects are that I'm going to be working on. Mario and Animatronic Horror, The Nightmare Begins, The Audio Drama, Stop Motion Picture Edition, and Thomas and the Magical Railroad, the audio drama stop motion picture edition movie. Two audio drama movies that I think would be fun and awesome to make. Like I know audio dramas might be kind of outdated or boring, but trust me, I'm gonna try to put all my all my effort into this. Like my soul, love, blood, sweat, and tears and all into this. Like just because I'm not great at animation and a bunch of other things doesn't mean I don't have to not work on these, right? Like if I think these are going to go well, like, with enough effort and all that as it is, then that would be awesome. So yeah, guys, Mario Animatronic Horror and Thomas the Magical Railroad will be audio drama ver movies made by me, yours truly, the man with the plan, Dan himself, of course. So yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about, what I wanted to say. It, and if I had to put an estimate for a release date, I would probably choose this year, 2023, or 2024 and i'm explaining about that real quick for mario and animatronic horror nightmare begins i'm thinking of probably either releasing it this year or or next year or both because i'm thinking of probably doing it in parts like in chapters like chapter one chapter two chapter three and you know like like in the like how they were in the original game like how they were in the original game maybe like that but we'll see I wouldn't be surprised if I somehow did in parts this year and did the other parts for next year. So like I said, I don't know if it'll come out this year or next year. Probably both, I'm not sure. But I'm going to make Mario and Animatronic Horror come out this year if I somehow get a chance to. So yeah, all chapters, either one or together, will be together. And yeah, I think I might do it in chapters first. And then when they're all done, I might make a like put them together into a full-length movie. Basically the same thing, but you know, different. So yeah, uh, yeah, that too. So either this year, so this year and next year or both, but we'll see. As for Thomas the Magical Railroad, I'm, I'm obviously going to release it next year because with me working on Mario and Animatronic Horror and all this too, I think me re re working on this and releasing it for next year would be a great idea because... Because all I wanted to do this year was just announce that I'm doing my own take of Thomas the Magical Railroad. I want to make like a fan-made movie out of it, like how the other creators have been, the ones that I mentioned, and release it for next year. Plus, I think it would make sense to release it next year because this year was just me explaining to you guys what project I'm going to be working on or projects, but this one in particular that I mentioned, and releasing it for next year. Because next year is going to mark down 24 years of Tatmar, and I think releasing it next year and i think releasing next year would be a great idea i'm hoping to i'm hoping to release this on july the 26th 2024 but it depends on how production will go like if i somehow get all the voice actors to help get all the thomas creators to help me out with these join me with these characters that i have an idea for them to go as and all that and seeing how production on it will go and all that too like there is the second Thomas Magic World rewrite movie, but I'm also curious to make my own version of it too with this one, like I said. So yeah. Uh I'm hoping to so yeah, Mario and Animatronic Horror 2023 and or 2024. And Thomas and the Magical Railroad 2024. Definitely 2024 next year, because it would make sense. And hey, if I can't do it for 2024 next year for Magic Ra for Magical Railroad, then I might do it in 2025 because, you know, 25 years would be cool. But since 2023 has been pretty great this year for, you know, Mario and FNAF and all that, I'm thinking that maybe, you know, next year could be too because that way I would have enough time to work on both, like this one, that one, and then yeah. So yeah, don't expect me to keep my promise if anything does change or not. But I'm really hoping to make these kind of projects if they'll actually happen. And yeah, I'm really excited to make these because I want to create big stuff 
well not big big but yeah perfect per perfection or not like perfect audio drama movies or not i'm still having high hopes and excitement to make this so to all the mario fnaf and thomas fans stay tuned for these fan made movies that i'll be working and making on with a bunch of other people if possible or s somehow sadly on my own but we'll see so yeah that's all i want to talk about guys a short a short part of me talking about my own thoughts and opinion review of security breach ruin the dlc and what kind of projects i'm going to be making this year and next year that i haven't did but i kind of but now that i'm now announcing of what i want to do this year and next year obviously i got to work with like scripts and stories and all that so that comes first but we'll see so yeah uh, I think that's all I got to say. I'm probably going to put timestamps because of how long this was. But I guess see what happens. I'll put in timestamps for that too. With a lot of editing too, if you ask me. So this will be released either... Yeah, it'll be released tomorrow. Definitely tomorrow. But that's it, guys. That is my talk and explanation of, you know, not just my review and thoughts on Security Breach Ruin, but also my announcement slash review talk of me making these two upcoming project movie things movie projects on my that i'm going to release on this channel for this year and next year mario animatronic horror the nightmare begins and thomas and the magical railroad stay tuned for those you know films whenever they come out and yeah i hope you're all excited to see these because i definitely am i'm hoping to make some other cool things out of this too and yeah although i guess it will admit the stop motion picture animations and all that not really animation but like the stop motion picture animation scenes like backgrounds and all that will be kind of different but we'll see what happens depending on how it'll how bo both films projects will look and how they will go and all that so yeah i'm really hoping to make these because if i if i somehow am not able to make these like how i'm not able to make obstruction anymore then i have nothing left to live for i'm kidding though uh, normal videos on my on this channel will still be a thing like I will upload normal videos if I get a chance to but that depends on how much time I have and all that so yeah and with that I'm on this here because I made this you know a few more minutes long enough as it is uh, thank you all so much for watching my for listening to this video that I've made and with that I'm gonna end this here because I've already made this video long enough as it is so yeah, I hope you all enjoyed my review talk, my announcement of me making these upcoming projects. Stay tuned for whatever they'll come out, and it's right here. Leave a like if you're if you if you're looking forward to seeing those the, those movies. Subscribe if you want to, you know. I guess give me the motivation I need because I guess a little subscribing can hurt. But I guess if I somehow see gain, the see the more I gain subscribers, the more it gives me motivation to see how many people would enjoy watching the content I try to make. It gives me motivation to do so. So yeah, a turn on the bell so you will be notified of when I update you guys on the fan-made projects. And of course, leave a comment down below if you're looking forward to those movies, like Mario and Animatronic Horror, The Nightmare Begins, or Thomas and the Magical Railroad. If you guys want to have any questions or want to know more about it, I guess feel free to t ask me on Twitter or YouTube or Discord, but mostly Twitter, I guess. But yeah, stay tuned for those projects. And thank you all again for watching and listening. I'm excited to make them. Can't wait to see how they will turn out or look. And I'm going to end this here because I made this video 40 minutes long as it is. So I do apologize. Hopefully the background was satisfying enough for everyone. But yeah, thank you all again for watching. I'm Dan the Man. And as always, I will see you guys next time in the next video. Here's to Mario, FNAF, and Thomas for this year and next year. 2023 and 2024. Let's do this, and here I go with these projects. Starting with my animatronic core first, probably, and then Thomas, but I'm not sure. We'll see. But I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye, everyone! Woohoo! Peep peep! I don't know what I'm trying to do there, but whatever. Anyways, see you guys next time in the next video. Bye bye!